Rod, a uh, matter of seconds, and we could have been here to talk about a different story. What was your feeling on that? Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just, we had the game in the ascendancy, we were the better side second half, we had a lot more fluency, a lot more pace. Um, we just looked better on the ball than them, to be honest. I thought they sort of like went under. And, um, and all of a sudden, a ball that just for whatever reason we've been caught, we've been caught in a situation where we haven't dealt with it. And then, as I just said to these in here, phew, if you ain't got that right, you've just killed my football club. Because that to me was soft, soft penalty. Um, but it's our fault for, you know, letting that happen. And then, you know, to be fair, Nathan nearly keeps it out, which would have been justice. But what a cruel way to go, 10 seconds to go, I think he probably play slightly over with 10 seconds in. He's made a decision, probably going to be one of the biggest decisions in his career. Because of the timing of, of, of the penalty shout. And 10 seconds to go is just um, beyond me, but um, it is what it is. Listen, it's done now. I can't, unfortunately, as they say, you can't put spill milk back in the bottle. But um, yeah, my players are tremendous. And I've got to say, they were tremendous. Yeah, we made a couple of mistakes for the goal, but you can say they made a couple of mistakes for their goals. Um, especially the keeper with Joel's, he's hit a great strike and he's dropped it, he's looped in the net. But, I mean, you watch the game, second half, there was only one team that was going to win this game. There was only one team that was going to win it. And, uh, yeah, so, very cool. And that goal right at the end of the first half, it almost brought us back into it. You must have changed the team talk, looking at that goal coming in. Well, to be fair, we went 2-0 down after I thought we played really well. I thought we played really, really well. And then we went 2-0 down, which was a little bit disappointing obviously and against the run of play but you know we managed to stay with it we got a goal back five minutes before the half give us give us a real platform to go again and second half I've got to be honest and truthful with you I think we've probably had 70% of the game and you know we were playing some really good football really good football and um, you know you just see I just they were just failing to clear their lines they were getting caught with sort of decisions at the back there, not knowing whether to clear their lines or the goal kit, a bit of confusion. I think we'd I think we'd worked them into a, into a good position to win the game. But I can't I can't legislate for uh, for the for what's happened. Um, and all I just say is wow, 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 wow. Um, I don't know, I need to watch the footage of, the, of the, uh, their third goal with a penalty. That's what I need to We did make a mistake, two centre-halves cost us, in my opinion, because one of them needed to go and just attack the ball. No matter what you do, one of you had to go and the ball was a free header. And we haven't, and we've both dropped off, and it's bounced. And then we've managed to think, win it on the stretch, but then they've managed to recycle the ball. Um, and get the penalty shot. I mean, I'll go back to when we lost to Ebbsfleet, I could handle that. Do you know what I mean? Because to be fair, the Ebbs fleet they, they 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 grew in the game when they when they got when they got the equaliser and went on to win the game. But today this was this was our game, really I think so. I think we were a better side, but listen, unfortunately, for whatever reason, um, I don't know, I think these playoffs are cruel and this is probably the cruelest playoff decision that's been made in the history of playoffs, I would think. Ten seconds, put the ball on the spot, kicked out the pitch, he blew up. He's got to get that penalty right. He's got to get that penalty right. If he's got any doubt, he can't give it. And what I'm telling even their player just walked through there, he said it was so soft. That's one of their players. But um, I just want to say well done to all my players. We've had a terrific season yet again. Third playoffs, third playoff spot we've secured in three years, three cup finals, but as I said in previous interviews, when you get to this year, it, it depends on rubber the green, uh, decisions going for you, decisions going against you. And today you've just all witnessed probably uh, one of the a decision that's that's cost us uh, playing Woking next week. After such a cruel way to exit, how are you going to pick yourself up looking ahead to next season? At the minute, I need a JCB to do that. Um, as I just said in previous interviews, we've had a terrible three years 
at the club with all the uncertainty and everything that goes on. And you know now we've got new owners. Obviously, you know <laughs> we've got to, we've got to get a foundation and a platform at this football club because it's been such a roller coaster and it's been so tough. And um, I'm sure that happens at other clubs, but we've had a you know we've had a, a really really hard time. Um, and you know the supporters deserve more. And I'm not saying that that decision today, but we're pushing it as much as we can. And and to be fair, it's just it's just it's been it's been tough. And um, you know um, I don't see this being my last game. But if it was my last game, um, you know you have to look at it and say, well, you know Rod Stringer, Nick Aycock, and, and and three new teams have pushed it to their extreme to try and make this happen with a club situation which has been, you know, beneath certain people, there's nothing, it's been tough. And you can't, even if we go up again, you know, you do go next level, it, it's got to be so much more um, foundations have got to be laid to even sustain giving yourself a chance down at the bottom four. Um, so, you know, but listen, I'd like to have got up because I think with new owners, Johnny Holmes and that, um, then you know we can sit around the table and, and try and tell John um, and, and his, his, his people that he wants to be around um, the club that this is what you need and we've just been doing it on our own own esteem and getting players in as I say this is the third team I've had to build in three years it, it's absurd you know I've got to go and do it all again now I've got to go and do it all again um, because I've still got players here that we haven't we haven't secured down and Ain't being funny, Rod Stringer builds good teams and other managers are like vultures. You know, they all want my players. And that's what happens. And you know, in the end you keep some of your some of your core, but you have to every year keep going again and trying to find a new formula. You can't just build teams for one season. You need you, you, you need stability. You need you know, people who want to stay and have a two year deal or a three year deal. But at the moment, um, but that's for that's 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 uh, that's a conversation for the new owners to, 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 to tell us what direction they want to go in, to be fair. Because I know what direction me and Nick and the players want to go, and we've showed that again this season. But I'm not a miracle worker. I haven't got a wand, and I can't make you play in the playoffs every year. God forbid if we probably hadn't made the playoffs and done what we've done. You know, there's quite a lot of things going on with supporters and whatever else. and. I can understand why they're all sort of like they are, but it reflects on my players, it reflects on me, it reflects on Nick, it reflects on us all. And I'm sure you find it yourself. So this club now, we know what division we're in, we're still in the Conference South. The, the division's going to be very tough next year. There is no give miss. Um, you've got some great teams coming back in it, Maidstones, all the shots, things like that. There ain't no easy, this, this is not an easy league. This is not a easy league. And to get out of it, you know, you've got to have stability, you've got to have good players, you've got to have, like today, a little bit of lady luck, you've got to have everything. And um, maybe we're falling short on a bit of lady luck, purely and simply, because, uh, you know, are we ready to go up? But um, I know the new owners want us to go up, but we also need to see what their plans are. So, who knows, um, over the next week I'm sure we'll have some conversations and uh, I'm sure you'll be first to know where we go.